Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to do an original original pattern I created. Um, I think I'm going to name it Bazinka after the Big Bang Theory. I, I This is my most recent obsession, so I thought I'd name bracelet after him. And um, this bracelet takes 12 strings, 6 colors, 2 of each color. I would suggest um, using a rainbow color or writing down at least the order of the colors because that's how you can make sure you keep in track because I know I've done this I've attempted to do my own bracelet a couple times and I've messed up like this was the first one I did and um, as you can see here messed up there I forgot to bring it back so sometimes um, mistakes can happen and I've noticed that by doing it these it may be a little bit easier okay so you need to set yours up as a candy stripe which on this one I've already done one set that's just to make it easier but um, when you're doing your first candy stripe make sure you be careful because the string, the whole thing will move as like a normal uh, candy strike will. So, first you need to do a candy stripe. So because I've already done a set with red, I need to do an orange. So do forward knots across. which I'm going to try and start doing more tutorials as often as possible. I know I said last time I'd do one, and then I didn't post anything for like 11 months. Um, because it's summer right now, I have a little bit more free time. I'm hoping to get a job soon, so once that happens, I will have as much free time. But now that um, with my newest phone, I'm recording this on my phone, and it's made it a lot easier to do videos. So now that I've found up a setup, and hopefully I can do more tutorials now. Okay. So now I've done one candy stripe. Now you're going to take your outer strand. So for me, it's yellow. And you're going to do four forward knots and one forward backward knot. So, um, also another tip for when you're doing this, make sure you keep in track and you don't like forget a string or whatever you get messed up. Your backward or your forward backward knot should always be on the same color of whatever stripe you're working on. So like this one's orange and this is the orange string. So forward backward. Okay, now you need to take your next string, which for me is green and do two forward knots and one forward backward knot. Sorry, I had a knot at the end of the string, so I just kind of cut it off. <laughs> so now I need to do my forward backward. Okay, now make sure you don't make this mistake. I know this is one thing that messed me up a lot. Make sure you do a forward-backward. So you're going to take your blue strand and do a forward-backward over your purple strand. And now you're just going to bring all the knots back. So you're going to take your third string, which is the green one, the one you just did to make the inner part of it. And you're going to do two backward knots.
Okay, now you need to take your yellow strand and do the same. So four backward knot. Okay, so now you have, basically now you're halfway done. So, as you can see, you've done now the one little triangle, which is that part. Alright, so now, this is how you're going to get the cool kind of like shape to it. Take your outer orange string and do backwards knots across the whole thing. So you should get back to where you started. Which, um, for this bracelet, um, you can do it so where you only have one color, like, going throughout the whole thing as, like, your main, like, this, like, this is, like, the main string I'm using right now is the orange. You could do it so, like, you have it all doing red. But be careful, it does use a lot of the string. It probably, it uses, like, several inches of your string. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to try and do more tutorials, and I made a new um, friendshipbracelets.net account. It's now the same username as my username on here, iHeartMrBump. Um, which, that is, it was, I made this account in like 7th grade, and I'm now a junior. So, that's the name. I was obsessed with Mr. Min Little Miss at the moment so that's why that's the name of that and uh just make a new youtube account didn't make much sense so I kept it Okay, so now you have that, and um, if your knots already didn't kind of go up in there, just kind of push them up, which sometimes right here in the little crease part. It's a little bit better, I guess, but okay. So now you need to do the second half of this, which is basically the same exact thing you did here, just backwards. So this time you're going to do four backwards knots and a backward forward. Sorry if you hear like a bell. That's my rabbit. Okay, so backward, forward. Okay, so now you need to take your next outer strand, so for me it's purple, and do two backward knots and a backward forward. And then do your backward forward knot. Which also, um, this, the color or whatever this is, should be the same color that it was in your other little corner. Which is always kind of cool. Okay, so now you need to take your purple string and do two forward knots. Which that's your third string to the right.
And now do four forward knots with your red string. Okay, so now, this isn't the best looking bracelet right now, but you guys get the point. Um, <laughs> this is one of the bracelets I usually use without a clipboard. Or, this is actually a Games World Record book, but I usually don't do this one with that. Okay, so now you need to take your orange string, that's your main string you're using, and just do forward knots across again. So I think that now, um, as I'm videotaping right now, I'll probably do an update on my friendship bracelet collection. Um, I don't, I haven't made that many this year. I did a lot over, I haven't really had much time to do any crafts this year. Um, I got into knitting for a bit, but other than that, I haven't had really much time to do my craft stuff, and I started... I got into this again when I made um, all the girls in my course class these friendship macrame bracelets. I was doing a lot of macrame last summer, and so now I'm back into the friendship bracelets. So I'll do a tutorial of the ones I've made, which I think I've made some. So there we go. Now that's done, and now you have your second piece, which looks really terrible compared to the first one, but that's because I've been doing it, um, I usually hold them like that, and I do it, do the strings, which I know a lot of people can't do them without something to clip them onto, but, so yeah, there's my original bracelet.